Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Banished, the colonial town of Dunkertown. We almost have our town hall. I'm very excited. I don't know about you, but I'm very excited. And this was the tiny shack we were going to upgrade, but there's not enough edible glass to build it with, so... I mean, I've heard of all kinds of things being made edible. There's edible... There's edible... Uh, underwear? But edible glass is not something that, that I had heard of before. Alright, we got six whole students. Hmm. 26 working adults. It certainly doesn't feel like there's that many people working. I would love to get some, like, cattle or something. I think that they're very efficient as well. That or, I think, just trees and, you know, corn. Somebody did on the on the Mythbusters thing. The guy tested it and... In this game, when they do farming, they spend the whole season working, quote unquote. But after they've planted the seeds, they don't actually do anything. Like the amount of food that's produced out of the out of the farm is the exact same whether they work or they stop working. You could tell them to go do something else, and it'll continue to grow at the same rate. But that's too min maxi. We're just gonna not worry about it. If we do get some plants, we'll plant them, and then and that's just what we're gonna do. It's fine. Oh, really? Is the reserve of stone low? I wasn't aware. It's only been that way for past past couple of videos. Thirty-six stone a season. Twenty-four tools. Who wants to be the next blacksmith? I was sorely disappointed in this thing. I mean, I guess maybe. I guess maybe for the amount of space that it takes, it's a good amount of food production. But I'd rather just have a gatherer's hut. Appropriately placed, unlike this one. Four people collected this. Like, if this was a competition, these people... So just just compare the top number and just assume that it's, an it's going to average out. 670 versus 150. I mean, that's just pathetic. You guys suck. Um, we should just get rid of this structure. Don't work that one. We're done being gatherers there. Instead, you're going to... I'd rather you be fishing. Fishing or hunting. I mean, anything's better than what you're doing. We'll just destroy that one. I noticed that I've kind of taken to leaving that thing open, and it actually does fit on the screen pretty well. When you're doing, uh, when you're doing full screen, I wonder if there's a better way to organize this though, so that maybe it's not quite so like jagged edges. What if we put that there, squeeze the event log down here. We get pop-ups here, though, I think. I like having this thing up in the top left corner. If we put the event log... Would it be too weird if we put it, the event log way up at the top? Looks different. Feels weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like that. I kind of like having the event log at the bottom left. I like. It. I just kind of like it the way that it was. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back to the way that it was. This this was fine down here. It's not that jagged. 
It's fine. Oh my gosh, they're gonna finish the brickworks. And hey, we have a town hall. Cool. Go to. Okay. This is really no different than this. What's the purpose of this? Only 46% of our population is educated. That means that more than half of us are stupid. Augustavus has become an adult and is now working as a laborer. 48%. Okay, production. Inventory. This is global inventory. Apparently we have no full library anymore. I think it's decided to wear it. <laughs> like six people walking around in full library. Cool. Items in storage, items in trading posts, items in homes. The main thing people are eating right now is mushrooms, fruits, berries, and venison. Graphs. Lots of seeds and livestock to obtain. Well, that's really all that that does. That also allows you to accept nomads, but we're not going to accept nomads because we're inbred. We like to breed with our own. Children with children, that kind of thing. Hey, we got a brick works. We can make bricks out of firewood plus clay. We can also apparently make charcoal in a brickworks. Charcoal plus clay. Coal plus clay. I think, again, firewood plus clay makes the most sense. Well, let's try making some bricks. And it immediately turned on. Is this going to say that it's full because of the food thing again? Are bricks apparently like made out of food? Are they edible bricks? Are they made out of chocolate? Fuel limit. Okay, apparently bricks are considered fuel. There is, it doesn't even say a limit on here, but... Zacker the hunter has died of old age. Garvel, you're next. You're not gonna live long, man. Can't you see, like, a graph of the population? Yeah, graphs. Population over the last 10 years. So until he died, we were actually at peak population. Total population. You can see there where we educated the first batch and then we turned off the school for a while. This is good though. We've got the most children and the most students we've ever had, as expected. The population's gonna grow now. And I think we still had two houses that were partially... Nope, not even begun. The builders still have jobs, though. Wait a minute, I just saw that you were idling. Why are you idling? Get to work! Is it considering the two out of three... Available jobs to... I mean, these are paused. Is that why you're idling? I think so. No. Now it's at 2 out of 7. Okay, in that case, Ali was probably idling because one of the jobs was this. And there's zero glass, maybe? Okay, let's raise the food limit. Get some edible glass made. And then we can upgrade that tiny shack. We do have one glass worker. Novella May. Hey, hey, hey. Come back here. Where'd you go? She's working. Of course, don't mind the path. Just walk over the mountain. I never did upgrade this to a stone path. Okay, 
So, how much do you need? Alright, so she's got 75 sand, 28 firewood. No, stay here and build! It's cold. Well, it is late autumn, I guess. You're not very smart, are you? You're not educated. Clothing is fair. We need to make warm clothing so that they can get more work done. It's part of the problem. Hmm. Yeah, it is very cold out. Late autumn, negative seven. Wow. Hope it doesn't get any colder than that. Might lose some people. The root cellar has exactly zero roots in it. The meat locker has a hundred venison. They're not using this these specialty structures. Like, they did put some in here, but I was kind of expecting, okay, if you have a meat locker, that that would be where you put meat over the storage barn. Because as is, what's the, what's the point? Shouldn't I just make a bunch of storage barns? I would need to see the numbers to really know. Like, if the meat locker actually gives a slight storage advantage relative to the amount of space that it takes, at the expense that you can only store certain types of food and it gets prioritized over general storage, then it would make sense to build. Otherwise, there's just no point. Most likely, what we're going to end up building is... Um, I'm just going to end up going with the... Bank barn. So I have a feeling that this thing's going to have massive storage. It's my hope, at least. Is it going to fit there? It would, I remember I, it would have fit, fit there, but then I ended up putting in some other stuff instead. We'll find a comfortable spot. General slope that we need, not a, not a very steep one. Ooh, almost. I almost fit one here. There we go. A couple bank barns near the town center. That could work. Then we could always put a market there or something. Dallas. Dallas has become an adult. Stan has become a student. Quarter has become a student. And we do have a little tiny bit of stored stone now. I'm thinking that it's possible that our food needs might might have a little bit of a stress on them soon. Not working the gatherer's hut. Actually, it's gone now. Um, could be. Of course, it wasn't. It wasn't producing very much food, and I did divert all of those people to other jobs that produce more food per person. We should be okay. But. Let's think about it. Where do we want to put our next gatherer's hut? Probably over here. It would fit pretty well. If we built a forester's lodge. Let me try to maximize that circle. Looks good. Let's not worry about getting it on the edges, because we can use the edges for like bank barns or something. Right in the center. And then we'll build our gatherers hut. So these are the primary two structures that I want to have. We're not even going to worry about hunting lodges, since they uh, evidently don't need to be in the forest. So let's say we've got four people working in the Forester's Lodge and four people working in the Gatherer's Hut. It wouldn't be horrible to have 
a couple of houses out here. Not not many, just enough to you know, keep most of the population that's doing these jobs living nearby. More time efficient that way. Building them this close, we could have fire problems, but And I don't think we need another gatherer's hut yet. Okay. So that gatherer's hut is going to fit well within that. Be nice if the range on the Forester's Lodge was just a tiny bit bigger than the Gatherer's Hut. But that'll still work pretty well. I need a 13. Wow. How cold is that? You know what? I'm tired of saying that. I'm going to change it to Fahrenheit. <laughs> that way I'll just know how cold it is. It's a 6 degree. Okay, that's pretty damn cold. You know, now that we're speaking my language... 32 is pretty cold. 7? That's pretty damn cold. I mean, that's... Ugh. You don't really want to spend a huge amount of time outside when it's only 7. Especially if there's a wind chill. How much, um... How much wood has this Forester's Lodge given us? 100. It's not bad. We're making most of it into firewood, but... Okay. You are not working because... The materials required to perform work are not available. Not enough clay. I guess we do need a guy making clay, don't we? Got two laborers. Let's grab another guy, get some clay. And how many uh, bricks did we end up with? Did we not get any? We got four. Four whole bricks. Two of them are here. Where are the other two? Two of them are there. So that is a pile of bricks, apparently. Four whole bricks. Alright, now we can build fancy roads. One per unit of length. A brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Actually, they look kind of orange to me. Well... Why not? Let's just upgrade the brick. We'll start building bricks near the brick place. Brick road. Alright, cool. I'm gonna take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you soon.